To provide a foundation for our panel discussions today, we have asked Professor Carlos Moreno, who coined the term 15 Minute City, to introduce the concept. Carlos is an Associate Professor and Scientific Director of the Chair for Entrepreneurship, Territory, Innovation at the IAE Paris at the Sorbonne. Carlos earned the international has earned international recognition for his major contributions and pioneering concepts such as human smart city, the 15 minute city, and the 30 minute territory, bringing an innovative perspective and understanding of urban issues. I will turn the mic over to Carlos. Thank you. Thank you, Craig, for your introductions. It's a real pleasure for me to be here. Okay. Thank you to DBF, thank you to Seychelles, thank you to Julie for organizing this uh, summit after uh, several uh, discussions. Uh, I wanted to introduce uh, for this uh, uh, 15 minute city summit the, the, this uh, uh, concept in the more um, larger framework, the revolution of uh, uh, proximities. Today, um, the 15 minute city concept has become a very popular concept around the world in all continents so with different creatures, regardless of the density of size of city. This concept of, is today implemented in, in uh, some uh, cities. In fact, uh, if we wanted to put it in a shell, a few uh, points. Uh, the 50 minute city, the 30 minute territory, because we have a two a twin uh, concepts, the 50 minute city for high compact zone, the 30 minute territory for middle and low density zone, are a vision, a global vision, a holistic vision, a methodology, a complete methodology. And with my team, we have been developing some powerful tools for implementing, but uh, the, there are some other uh, tools for developing this tri tri triple vision uh, to uh, generate a new uh, uh, environmental, uh, economical and social activities in cities to develop more and more services and to uh, propose for a different uh, neighborhood in order uh, approach based on this uh, uh, polycentric uh, vision. We need, in fact, uh, to uh, propose a new urban lifestyle for uh, changing. We need, uh, uh, with the 50 minute city, with the 30 minute territory, explore the whole city, identify inequalities, social and economic inequities. We need uh, to uh, develop a lot of intersections using the to detect and to use the hidden resources in cities for mutualizing for optimizing we needed to uh, develop uh, a new urban and territorial strategy in particular for breaking with the traditional view based on these uh, long distances uh, between the center and peripheries we need today to develop another resilience in face with climate change, but as well in face with uh, sanitary crisis, the pandemic COVID-19, for example, and the recent energy crisis after the war, during this war uh, in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, we wanted to imagine and propose another urban and territorial um, shape based on this uh, polycentrism to live better in shorter distances. In reality, the first time when I proposed this uh, concept was just after the COP21 in Paris, because I was convinced that the more uh, strategic global threat for uh, humanity is the climate change. This is not more a climate change. This is a real climate emergency. Today, in all continents, 
and cities are the most important contributor for CO2 emissions. Uh, in particular, uh, given that our urban lifestyles, uh, given that our long distances or individual mobilities to use or individual car and the poor conditions for uh, commuting in the mass uh, transportations, we need today to uh, transform this urban lifestyle if we want it to be uh, resilient in facing with climate change. And for uh, two years after the emergence of uh, uh, COVID-19, in fact, we have at the same time a, a very uh, relevant risk, but this is at the same time a great opportunity, a great opportunity for transforming our quality of life. And uh, in, in fact, our scientific contribution with my team at Sorbonne University for uh, 10 years, in fact, is to define the quality of life in cities and territories. We consider that the most uh, challenge for our cities today is to offer a lot of citizens local services if we wanted to improve the quality of life, regardless of the size of city, the density, metropolis, urban cities, middle cities, ruralities, we needed to uh, put the uh, citizen dwellers at the center of uh, a lot of services. This is not a new idea, in fact, because for a long time, uh, different thinkers and donors proposed uh, this approach based on polycentrism. But today, our proposal uh, is uh, today uh, a new paradigm because we consider that we need to develop a new roadmap for implementing a new long journey for transforming our cities. We consider that we have accepted the unacceptable long term meters in cities. My friend Richard Sennett said the, the distances is, uh, today, uh, are today uh, uh, a vice, and we need to uh, develop uh, shorter distances for living differently, for using more and different buildings, uh, because uh, we have a lot of, lot of buildings uh, unused. And uh, with uh, the long distances, with the long commute, with the uh, very long uh, days for working, we lost our social interactions in our uh, uh, neighborhood. For that, the 50-minute city, the 50-minute territory, this is a new opportunity for building a new urban and territorial narrative based on three convergent elements. The first one, to change the rhythm for living in the city the chrono-urbanism. The second one is the chronotopia for developing the massive multipurpose functions for using more and better the thousand and thousand post parameters that existed today. The third one, the topophilia. The topophilia, this is capability for uh, generating the uh, logo for our places, for our street, our square. The 15-minute city, the first minute territory is based on this capability for mixed uses within proximity. Our target is not to have smart cities, but to have happy citizens in a happy city for having a happy life. This concept uh, has become today a global movement. This is a global movement for developing this urban and territorial proximity. At the same time, we, we, this is not a doxa. This is not a copy paste. This is a flexible concept, and we have the possibility to customize uh, for adapting in, in uh, different cultures for uh, identify local needs. This is the same vision, the same methodology with different implementations around the world in Asia, in Latin America, in North America, in Europe. You have a lot of different implementation. This is the case with the mayor of Milano, Giuseppe Sala, with a very ambitious plan for developing the local services in less than 15 minutes for each one of metropolitan uh, cities and dollars in Milan. This is the case in Buenos Aires with the integration of the 15-minute city in the urbanism uh, code. This is the case in Mexico with the new uh, decision of the fund for the, 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 the investment fund for social housing, who have decided to, um, uh, to, 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 to request the presence of a lot of services less than two kilometers 
financing social housing. This is the case in China with the 50 minutes community life circle. In the very small cities in Tunisia, in North Africa, as a, a source with the implementation of the new activities in districts and even in ruralities. This is the case in a very small city in France with just less than 5,000 inhabitants. If we wanted to resume the concept at the, um, the 50 minute city uh, when I proposed uh, in October uh, 2016, a polycentric city, lot of different proximities, mixity of uses, mixities of the social uh, interactions, density for mutualizing uh, services, and ubiquity for developing uh, new services based on uh, technologies. The mayor of Paris, Hidalgo, embraced this concept in November 2019 and proposed this roadmap for implementing in Paris after the electoral campaign. And the C40 cities, and Chartier is present now, uh, adopted this uh, uh, concept in July 2020 for uh, proposing the 50 minute city as a way uh, for uh, becoming more uh, climate resilient. The World Health Organization. The IPCC uh, experts for uh, climate change uh, proposed this way for uh, increasing proximities and for reducing mobilities and for optimizing our urban lifestyles. And recently, the Urban Forum, UN Habitat, embraced this concept. In fact, we wanted to respond with the 50 minute city at this question in what kind of city we want to live. This is the this is the proposal of the 50 minute city of the 30 minute territory. Six essential urban social functions: to live, to work, to supply, to care, to learn, to enjoy. The, this is our scientific contribution based on this social circularity. For access in a short perimeter, 50 minutes on foot or by bike with the uh, low carbon mobilities in the compact zone and 30 minutes uh, in the middle low density zone. And of course, in this case, we could include mobilities by car using a uh, car sharing uh, on demand transport and virtual lines. This is the ontologic model of the 50 minute city. How could we propose a lot of different services for accessing in a polycentric city to each one of different services to develop this mix? Ecology, for reducing our CO2 uh, footprint. A lot of proximities for uh, developing local services, local economy, local jobs. Solidarity for developing social interactions and the new business model for cities based on polycentric activities. And empowerment for fostering people to be involved in the transformation of city with the different tools, for example, participatory budget and others. The city of proximity, in fact, is the city of high quality societal life based on these six essential urban services. We need, in fact, to mutualize. We need to generate a lot of intersections. We need to use more in different, the different infrastructures building that exist today. And we need to develop new indicators. We have proposed three new indicators. The indicators of my personal well-being, myself and my family. The indicator is my sociability, is my name and my colleague works. And my indicator of sustainability with my ecology attitude and my otherness with the other people. We need to reinvent to this polycentric multipurpose vicinity for having in a few years, in an ambitious roadmap, this polycentric city, this roadmap for transforming this uh, segregation, this uh, city fractured for having this new polycentric. The digital platform today is a very powerful ally for identify, for explore our different resources. Our target is to transform the paradigm of mobilities for switching from the constraint mobility to our chosen mobility. The motto is to decentralize. The mayor of Paris said the 50 minute city is the big bang of proximity. We needed to develop newer services, local services, local employment, local jobs, polycentricity for fighting against gentrifications. For that, we need to develop a new urban policy, new urban policy based on the common good, 
the common good with the different and new management tools for developing more and more local activities. Just for finishing, this is my favorite quote because this is a very powerful vision. This is the vision of Jane Jacobs. Jane Jacobs said, a living city is a city livable because in every time and everywhere, we have the possibility for having multiple choices. The 50 minutes, the, the 30 minutes territory is a real capability for having every time, everywhere in all city, a multiplicity of choices for satisfying my need, uh, my essential services. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlos. Uh, you've